I really didn't know which location could have been more batshit insane than the barber shop, but here we are at the missile base and already there is a lot going on. Is Colonel Buster Monroe? But considering I've always talked to people last, let's take a look around first. We have the nu nuclear missile mi missiles. The space is well stocked with missiles. The B-17. The aircraft appear to be well maintained. Oddly enough, this guard booth is the only building on the base. How do you shoot the rockets then? An electrified chain link fence surrounds the base. Well, and other than that, there's not really much here. Except for Colonel Buster Monroe, who's who seems to have no legs, I think. Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. All oh, right, the Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. Oh, who are you? Accidentally Colonel skipped that. Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation, keeping America safe from those who would die a flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles. <laughs> He's so shocked. Damn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. Oh, All yeah. I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against no. accidents. Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole <laughs> control of the, uh missiles that's right been in charge here since ww2 when i got my lower torso shot off in the war jesus by whom penny waste in washington wanted to stick me behind a desk to hell with that they owed me i left my legs in dusseldorf <laughs> they owed me <laughs> of course they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from germany to england trailing my intestines behind me was too emotionally oh, unstable fuck. to continue in the military. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Yeah, because he, like, the emotional, in unstable war veteran, uh, there can be no better fit for the job, right? Oh my good lord, the amount of tags in this. I will not remember them. Let's go with one of my favorite words. Nuclear. Obviously not this one. Son, when you've had your body shot in half, you know a thing or two about fear. You learn that when something actually happens, it's never as bad as you imagine. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a good mindset. Oh, sure, I can't write my name in the snow. I had to shell out a few simoleons for portable IV drips, colostomy bags, and so on. The pain is hardly what I'd call constant. I have my good days when I pass out completely. <laughs> we're never asked to endure more than we're capable of handling, mister. Folks would die in a nuclear holocaust, but nobody would die who wasn't going to die anyway sooner or later. And the rest of us? Yeah. Why we'd take a little R&R &R at the old radiation bunker, climb out in two weeks, and go back to work refreshed and ready to contribute as productive members of society again. Makes me wonder why I don't just push the button. And take me a nice vacation. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't? Oh. God. No reason I can think of Colonel Blast away. It would be nice, Colonel, but we've all got to follow orders. This is gonna be a, a game over. A bad end, isn't it? But it might be worth seeing it. Blast away, all Colonel. Right, soldier. You talked me into it. Unfortunately, there's only room in my shelter for one. Oh my god! The button is on the bottom of his torso?
All right. We move on then. We go back to to the colonel. Um. I. I expected a bad end, but not to get shot. I thought we would be like watching the missiles ourselves. All right, Mr. Monroe. Oh god, now my mouse isn't working again. Uh, all right. Okay, that let's see, the, the thing so I skipped. So you the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes Swell bags one in the woods. I think Who he does you? more than just Colonel. bagging them. God damn. Well, so that. that's when I get... Alright. Those pe That's one. Let's let's go with the other option this Son, time. You... Oh, and makes... It would be nice, Colonel, but we've all got to follow orders, <clears throat> right? You're right, soldier. I'm sorry. Sometimes the intense pain clouds my mind. Kookaburros start whispering to me about the pretty mangoes in the high trees, <laughs> and I know it's they can see insane. Me. They see all of us. Can't you hear them? Chattering with the llamas behind our backs? They want our cornflakes, but they won't take the milk! Oh, that must have been such fun to voice. Imagine being able to voice an actually deranged war veteran. Amazing. Cornflakes? Have you lost your mind? You think you can toy with me just because I have no lord torso, you damn kid, you? Or maybe you're one of those commie bastards. <laughs> Can we go back to the other prompts, please? Lower torso? You say before you came to harvest, your lower torso was shot off in the war? That's right. I was behind enemy lines. The night was dark. The rain wet. The plastic I was supposed to rig the bridge with precariously sandwiched between my knees as I crawled in the muddy mud. See the Jerry taking aim at me with his machine gun until half of me was flying through the air. With a quick spray of bullets in a straight line, he'd shot my body clean in two. My lower body landed at that Jerry's feet. I can still hear him laughing as I started crawling in the general direction of England, <laughs> calling behind me in broken English. My friend, where is your legs? Looky, what have we here? Some legs? Hey, did they never lose some legs? <laughs> I'll never forget looking back over my shoulder and seeing that crowd doing the can can with my legs. Still a few weeks later, with only my compass and a pair of nylons, I made it back to safety. Now the crowds are our friends and the commie bastards are our enemies. But even so, there's at least one crowd out there that I'll never invite over to Sunday dinner. Me. Me. It was me. Mein Freund! There's a spare pair of legs here. Did you lose them? <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, it must be embellishing things. Surely he didn't just start crawling in the general direction of England. What did he do with, like, the channel? How did he cross the sea? Tell me, bastard. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. What does this mean? Can you it's give me any thing. reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? No, not really. You can't shoot me. I'm an American. I have rights. That's right. You have the right to be shot. Right, huh? Your average commie bastard is always only too ready to hide behind the Constitution. Real Americans waive their rights for the common good. Would you? Can I save? No. Sure I would for this great country of ours. Hell no, I refuse to, rent to surrender my rights. I think a real American would never surrender his right to, like, carry a weapon or just to speak his mind or, like, Eat a hamburger, right? Spoken like a true. Ah, oh, shit, he's gonna shoot me again. <laughs> oh, God, he sets off the missiles every time. 
Alright, maybe we should... Maybe we should save before talking to him. Why is he so riddled with traps? How did he not never accidentally blow up everything? With the button being... The way it is! Oh, pardon me, I'm very tired. It's early in the morning, but... Well, maybe that's a problem. Oh. Oh. So you... Let's skip all of that. We'll go with the exact same Sorry. options again. I'll try to recreate it. Forgot to save again. Uh, we've all got to follow orders. You're right, so. This time we'll, we'll ask about the llamas. Have you lost your mind? You okay, think it's you always gonna read the same. Did we ask Kami Basil or Lower Torso? Lower Torso. You said. Now we asked Kami Basil. Frankly, all these. No, oh, not really. I appreciate your honesty, comrade. No! What the fuck do I have to choose? Like, not waving and then waving? Alright, I appreciate that game. You're like, twists and turns are showing themselves. Slowly but surely. Uh, you're revealing yourself to be quite a, quite a bitch. Love them bitches. Oh! Skipping that all. I don't know if you need to go through these options to like trigger certain Son. things with other characters or something. That's why. Son. Just try to recreate it. Oh, baby. Close as possible. You're right. Sam will ask about. My mouse is gone. About the, about the kookaburros. Have you lost. Lower tons. You Come here, bastard. Right. I have rights. Right. Trey Wood for this great country of ours. You talk a good game, mister. But so does your average commie bastard. The Kremlin teaches its agents to talk their way out of a scrape. What do you think about that, son? The communists can hardly be said to hold a monopoly on intellectual discourse. I don't think much about stuff like that, Colonel. No, that's not what he wants to hear. First option. You should have watched more TV and read less oh, Dostoevsky if you wanted to pass for an American. Shit, I was too intellectual. I fought too much. The average American doesn't think at all. They're all NPCs. Uh, do this a fourth time? Alright. Episode 5. The Missile Base. <laughs> oh shit! He didn't seem to care. I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. Any Guess we reload. <laughs> I accidentally hit everyone in this building. Maybe I shouldn't run around with a shovel in my hands. It's just an accident waiting to happen, really. I mean, left click and right click. These are the only ways to play this game. And I still sometimes fuck it up. Alright, this time we'll save here. I'm not a commie bastard. I swear I'm a real American. Like, can I write HH? Hulk Hogan, I mean by that, okay? Hulk Hogan. Oh. It's me, it's Steve. The coming back, I mean, the regular American citizen. The Sun went. You're right, so. Okay. Have you. Copy bastard, here we go. Frankly, all these I have rights. Right. I would give them up though. I don't think much. Glad to hear it, son. 
You had me going there for a minute, asking all those questions about this base. Came this close to getting blown away. As it is, maybe you wanna get out of here before I change my mind. Go visit those Ponzi firemen. But whatever you do, stay away from that damn lodge. Oh, that's the most suspicious He's the first place person to harvest, say this. If you ask me. Why does he not like the lodge? Let's ask him about the lodge immediately. And then the fireman. Lodge. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, fireman then. I wanted to get back into the thick of the action and out of this desk job. But those firemen are a damn peculiar bunch of ladies. I thought they'd object to my lack of a lower body, but they wouldn't let me join the fire department because they said I couldn't draw naked men. Can't draw naked men? Who the hell wants to? I could draw one if I was a sick commie pervert. Look, I did this last night. What do you think? <laughs> Arts for commies anyway. <laughs> Oh, I don't know which he wants. Which one he wants to hear? Hmm. The fine drawing. We can either like stroke his ego or stroke his patriotism. That's for commies. You don't say. Then you'd better go reconnoiter the fire station, Mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. Determine if commie infiltration has occurred in Harvest, and report back here. Oh, is that a quest? Your report could make the <clears throat> difference in what I decide to do. Wait, wait, wait. What, Colonel? Never mind that, son. It's easier if you. I guess don't pressing know. the button. Harvest. Harvest is a fine town, steeped in traditional American values, but that lodge, well, it makes me suspicious. Don't mind saying it. They've got their fingers into everything around here. Like a certain red commie bastard menace, which shall be nameless. But you did name it just now. I'll be sure to stay away from the lodge. Sorry, Colonel, I've decided to join the lodge. Uh, why would I tell him? He shot me five times already. I'll stay away from it. Don't worry. <laughs> you read me wrong, mister. Oh? I think you should join the lodge, infiltrate it, and report back on any red sympathizers. Your report could affect my decision. On what I've got to do. <clears throat> okay. What were the other prompts? Can we just ask him about his legs again? I don't follow. Yes, surely you don't. At least not that quickly, right? Um, it's supposed to be a joke, okay? Even if it's rude or crass. I'm not making fun of. Well, I am making fun of a person with no legs, but nu nu nuclear. I don't follow. All right. Maybe nuclear, as some people call it. I don't follow. Missiles. I don't follow. Uh, military. I don't follow. Amnesia. I don't follow. Steve. I don't follow. Colonel. I don't follow. Buster. I don't follow. Monroe. I don't follow. Well, what were the other prompts in the beginning? I, I went through the menu a few times now, but hmm. Where they? You know what? Maybe we can just talk. Remember, to duck and cover. <laughs> Halt! It's just. What do you want? Did the llamas send you? <laughs> no, the llamas they fear me. That's good. Someone has to keep them in check. <laughs> I'm glad you stop by again. Oh. I want you to infiltrate those firemen, mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? And don't come back unless you've got information for me. Okay, I better not talk to him again then. All right, Remember, I got my third quest now or something. And the first quest is basically join the lodge. The second quest is find out what's going on. Um, well, you could say that like the uh, the, uh, the 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 third quest is uh, get some get something to trade for the glue in the mortuary, and now we have investigate the the commie manners. Should we 
Should we just go to the fire station immediately? See if we can get anything out of these guys? Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. Sorry. Sorry to talk to you. Do you're busy. We should save, actually. It's gonna be called five minutes. Oh no, not this one. I, uh, I can't type. But uh, man, dude, once more. All right, let's see. Are you call me bastards? Can't talk now, Steve. I'm inspired. <laughs> call me. Can we just ask him about call me? Come again. Call. Call me bastard. Come again. Pink. Come again. All right. Bye bye. Okay. The other fireman can't click him. I really, I, I just can't click him. I don't converse on the jobs. How do I find out whether they are commies then? There is an awful lot of, of art in here. I think they might be. What's wrong with this game not recognizing my, my clicks sometimes? Um, <clears throat> because it's not my mouse that's falling apart, I don't think. Game not currently properly working. Okay, we have three more locations. Let's just leave the quest aside for a little bit. Um, we possibly have time for like one, one more of these. And then we, well, except for the lodge, then we're basically through everything game has to offer location-wise so far which means we we just have to do things in the right order the meat plant the memorial school or the tv station uh let's go to the tv station actually let's go right to left oh my god are these hobos no they're in indians too busy drinking and smoking they ignore you jesus i don't condone these stereotypes um, the car. A silver tucker with a yellow interior. I like a good tucker. Can I just enter? No. Steve is doing a dance. Trying to enter. Oh no, here we go. It works. Uh, a fairly primitive form of mind control. <laughs> Corny was a backdrop complete with cardboard TP. Like the music. Either the show isn't compelling or no one wants to be taken up by friendly fire. What? No one is operating the cameras. Well, they don't need to be operated at all times, right? You can just film stuff in a certain perspective at a certain angle and it just like fixed cameras, right? They are a thing. They should be if they aren't. Talk to Range Rider. Yeah, why not? Stay tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. And what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. <laughs> Would you like my autograph, Steve? Um, yeah, I guess. Why not? I'm here already, right? Here you go, then. TV violence. I can ask him about the most important thing in the world. Violence? What about it? Children, what's your show? Did you think this violence is bad for them? I love all the blood and gore on your show. What red-blooded American doesn't? Nothing like an exploding head to get the blood pumping. Literally, that is. Even so, do you think society pays a heavy price for the violence in the media? Of course they pay a heavy price. Just look at the net profits. They'll line up around the block to see a good slaughter. Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. Okay. Stop it. Can't talk now, Buckaroo. We're on in just a sec. Regular TV? Why, you're spouting nonsense, cowpoke. Steve? I don't even know to ask him. Like this location is so out of left field. Once more, it's just uh, it, uh, harvest makes no 
sense whatsoever with with the amount of buildings, the people, and what kind of buildings they are. Why do they have their own TV station, for example? And do they just just send send the stuff locally, or or is this like a I don't know? I mean, America is huge. It's just dimensions that I can't even seem to fathom. I think in, in Germany we have local TV stations as well. But due to the fact that I don't even watch TV, I, I don't know how to, like, how they transmit the signal or how you receive them all. Who even watches that shit? <laughs> to be honest. YouTube has been a thing for like 20 years now. Who the fuck still watches TV? This generation desperately needs to die off. Happy Sorry, boomers. Through. Okay, I guess we'll leave. Looks like we're doing two locations then, this episode, or two more. One more, three in, in total, I can't math. Uh, the, oh, the Gain Memorial School or the Meat Plant? Let's go for the Meat Plant. Oh, yeah, that looks like very reassuring. Harvest Meats Incorporated. A red brick building with a horrible stench coming from within. And blood. Bloody tire tracks. Are these cats or are these like pieces of gore? A tiny door. Oh Jesus. Whatever's in these barrels smells extremely bad. Must be leftovers. The splotch. This used to be a kitty cat. Ugh. Wait, is he killing cats? I thought we were killing hobos. Or maybe since, since they're getting buried, we can't really eat them. What fit that, wouldn't it? It would be... A final solution to the hobo question, right? What do you do with, with an excessive amount of hobos? You just eat them. It's like sustenance for your native locals. While at the same time also taking care of like the immigrants? Pat or Riley? Or Steve, is it Riley or Riley? How's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Hmm. That's illness, cat's family business. Amnesia. Amnesia. He seems to be... At least somewhat nice about it. Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe well, me? Well, you always oh, were, kiddo. Were such a kidder, oh, Steve. shit. Funny how that's beginning to sound like a stock answer. Like it was coached. You sure are acting like a kidder, son. With your dad ill, you're gonna need to start behaving like an adult. Especially if you're gonna take over the family business. That's illness. What does he have, even? What exactly is wrong with your dad? Yeah, that's what uh, I want to know. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Steve. You should be thinking about running the family business one day. That, getting into the lodge. The the lodge. Okay, uh, family business. Uh, let's ask about family business before we ask about the lodge. What exactly? No, I no, I, I clicked the wrong thing. Family you may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. Ugh, what is that even? <laughs> I don't know, but it's still disgusting. A lot of times when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. Mm. Yes, yes. Of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? <laughs> Meat! 
Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat, only the juiciest cuts. Mm, yeah, the most hygienic ones. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Well, maybe you're the only people around to, to cater, you know? I'm sure it's good. Could I have some meat to take home? Oh god, not a lot again. No, 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 no. Meat. Give me meat. Because maybe I can bribe Mr. Potsdam to do something for me. Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No Shit. freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, oh. if you'll bring written permission from your father, oh. I'll give you the meat. Oh, I, I need the meat, please. Cutting costs and the lodge. Cutting costs. There are certain tricks of the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things. If you're creative. Mm -hmm. Lodge. The Order of the Harvest Moon sponsors a weenie roast on the lodge grounds every summer, which we cater. Though they tend to get their meat elsewhere the rest of the year. I wonder why. Heck, the best way to find out is to sign up with them. They're a great organization, Steve. They do wonderful work, just like us butchers. They do what needs to be done and expect nothing in return. Then how do they support themselves? Membership dues? From what I hear, the work is its own reward. Mm, yes, of course, that makes sense. Um, amnesia, Steve and Stephanie, maybe wedding. Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Well, oh, oh yeah, it was, it was in it, a prompt earlier. Uh, Steve. Don't read you. Dad. Don't read you. Stephanie. Cats, right? Cats was Don't also one you, of Steve. the prompts. Cats. What's with all the cats? This a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at them. Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things what now work at the health department steve or here oh jesus you seem defensive i wonder why maybe i get sick of do good or busybody sucking around here all the time a man's up to his elbows and guts all day every day what more do they want from him all right bye i guess don't be such a stranger steve and my best to your dad New quest. We need to get a written permission from her dad to get some meat. Uh, however, I I'll have to cut it short today since... Well, as I said earlier, that I'm tired and I'm also not really feeling... Very, very well. Which means that it's gonna be a shorter episode. I'll try to make up for it. Maybe I'll release one in between the week when I'm better or something. Or maybe next episode will be... 10 to 15 minutes longer than usual. Uh... That was, that was the butcher. That was the Miss Alpe with the Colonel Buster Monroe, where we died a few times. And that was the TV station. Three very, very distinct in different locations to each other. Yet all three of them left me wondering, 